All right, guys, morning. Um, next on the list is the pickup truck engine rebuild, I believe. We're going to try to get that started. Uh, first, though, I need to get that on here. I got to get it across this grassy area. And this is a pretty huge lip. Okay, next step there, you see. I don't know, that's at six to eight inches in some spots. It's even deeper. Oh, there's a hole. But that's what I gotta do today is some yard work. Uh, get Clean up all this grass. You see I started, but I wanted to let you guys in on it. So it's just a little bit of before. I'm gonna clean it up, chop up all the ground, level it out for the ramps, and then I'll show you guys the after. All right, so you can see now that I've got it all cut down. I cut it on the lowest setting with the lawnmower to get it all picked up, and I raked it up, because, I don't know, just to make chopping through it easier, I guess. But you can see the humps and holes and it's just too deep for the truck to drive up, huh? <laughs> too deep for the truck to drive up. But uh, let's uh, also now, I guess I'm just going to start picking at it. And just to level it out, that's all I need to do is make it level so so I can have a spot wide enough to set the ramps on without them breaking. Level ground. Another thing I'm gonna try to work on today is the aluminum pulley set I got. It's an underdrive set by about 21 to 24% depending on you know the part that it's on. Um, but again, the idea with this build is weight savings and getting rid of, you know, parasitic drag, like alum going with aluminum pulleys instead of cast steel or whatever it is. Uh, I had this on once before already, <clears throat> but I had a problem with it and I didn't get a chance to make a video about it. So I've got the water pump pulley here, the crank pulley, is smaller the water pump pulley is bigger and the alternator pulley is also bigger than stock which smaller pulley on the drive pulley makes everything spin slower and then a larger pulley on the accessory things items uh, make everything spin slower also All right so just think about supercharger for a minute everybody's talking about oh we got to put a smaller pulley on the supercharger to make it spin faster well these are larger pulleys than stock so it's everything's going to spin slower and then because it's the crank is the drive gear or the drive pulley uh the opposite goes for it smaller pulley on the drive pulley makes everything spin slower my cars my cool cars A little dusty. Can and I pull then, it off? And then I've got my racing trucks. And race cars. And that thing, whatever that is. It's a Kodak number four. Oh no, right there. 95, 95. Craftsman, Super Truck Series, stuff? those are pretty cool, came with cars, stuff of this? they were given to me by a friend, what buddy? Can we blow this dust off? Yeah, blow it off. Okay. It's not coming off. You gotta wipe it off. Oh. There you go. And what I have on there right now is the stock stuff. <clears throat> and 
And uh, the problem I was having was, <laughs> yeah, the problem I was having was with the stop with the alternator. Um, I was getting weird readings on the voltmeter after a little while. Like I don't know, I guess it's spinning too slow. So my main question, I guess my main concern is I want to put it on there and I want to show you guys and walk you through it and uh, possibly even see the result, you know, uh, uh, the needle going down for whatever reason and see if any of you guys have an answer to that. Um, is it just not possible i mean why do they make this overdrive system if it's going to fry your alternator or if it's not going to work with an alternator so you know what's the solution well that's going to about do it for the level that looks pretty good it took me the better part of the day but i basically just went through and Turned all the soil with the shovel and then chopped it up and packed it down and raked it out. But that's gonna be flat enough and I'm thinking I might just put a big piece of plywood down too. What, what, what? Okay. He's dead. Go give him CPR. So I've got an idea for this system. I think I'm going to go to the store and see if I can find a large grooved pulley so I can run the belt on the outside of this pulley and then under the tensioner and across. Um, I'll have to find like a really tight belt as well, but I think that's going to be what I'm going to try for because my AC doesn't work. And I don't want to delete it just yet, you know, because it's Silverado. That's what makes it a Silverado almost, you know, is the AC and the bench seat or something like that. The split window in the back. But I don't want to take out the AC just yet. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I do have a smaller power steering pulley on there. And I did do the... Uh, I did a swap over to the big block power steering pump. And I had to make some modifications to the bracket. Basically, the position of the the like little bridge that goes over the black pipe here had to be moved. Um, but now I've got big block power steering pump for just extra ease on the system, or you know, extra ease on me or whatever. Extra ease on the pump, you know, because a big block, if you think about it, it's meant to be for a heavier vehicle, so it's got to be built differently, I think, right, to handle a heavier load. So that just means easier life in this truck, easier for me. And then the smaller pulley spins it a little faster, uh, but when I put the smaller crank pulley, it's probably going to negate all of that. Um, but that's going to be the plan. I'm going to go to work tonight, try to find a big grooved pulley, and then we'll do the swap maybe tonight when I get home. All right, guys, there it is. Got the uh, all aluminum set there. The bottom crankshaft pulley, the smaller one, the larger water pump pulley, the larger alternator pulley. All aluminum bypass the metal smooth pulley with a plastic groove one, so that's lighter, breathes a little spinner, <laughs> spins a little freer, and uh, 80 inches seem to be the perfect length. I tried 79 and a half and 89 and a half, and those were both too small and too big. And I had to order up an 80 inches even. What it did, I barely had this pulley off. And I barely was able to slide the belt over everything without the pulley. And then I took the pulley, set it on the belt, pushed down and over onto the uh, snout. Threaded it in. And 
And yes, I know that the tension direction is all wrong now. I know this. It's just pushing against the locked position. That's okay. That's what we're rolling with for now. Um, it's a precise fit as it is, so I think the tension's just right. Not too much, but obviously not so loose that it wobbles. And it was wobbling pretty good with the, just being a half inch larger. So I feel like this isn't too tight. You know, we're just below the wobbling. Just below the wobbling. Now let's uh, go take it for the test drive and see if we can get this alternator to act up if it's not already. So far, our voltage is looking good. That's a good thing. It's actually higher. It's a hair above 14, which is about where it sits usually. Let's go take it for a test drive. And there it is. Voltage just dropped. But when I'm rolling, it's okay. It's only when I come to a stop sign. doesn't really fluctuate at all just I hope I can okay yeah because I'm not really looking at my phone I'm just holding it there I'm hoping you guys can see it Even just letting off the gas and coasting is good. Well, you'll see it drop here in a sec. It dropped a little bit there. no bueno. I can't have that. Goes up a little bit when I pull it out of gear. And it gets brighter. Just needed about 800 RPMs. It's like a, I don't know, maybe that's 500 RPMs. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 800. Let's see what happens when I turn off my lights. drops a little bit. Yeah, as long as, uh, well, it does good if I don't have any lights on. Huh. Headlights on, headlights off. Weird. But yeah, that's what I'm looking for is the solution to that. 
because I want to keep my awesome aluminum pulleys and my awesome throttle response. But I can't be going down the road and then shit just dying on me or not sparking at full, you know, 12 volts. Part of me wonders if it is a problem at all. Because when I'm driving around as charging, it's only when I come to a stoplight. And that's, is that even enough to hurt anything? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Okay, so here's the kit I got from Summit. It's an underdrive kit. And, you know, I like the smaller, the look of the smaller pulley on that kit. I don't know, there's something about the smaller crank pulley, it just looks awesome. Um, the downside is the voltage dropping um, at, a, at idle. Basically, as soon as you step on a gas and start driving around, my needle's fine, right? It's only like 100 more RPM and it would be charging just fine. So I don't know if I'm gonna even worry about it, I don't know if I'm gonna just idle. I think I'm gonna roll with it and just see what happens um, until something happens you know and like I said if you guys got a solution or if you guys know what to do or have any questions I'll try to answer we'll bounce them off each other but that's the kit with the three pulleys it was the crank the larger water pump and the larger alternator and then this pulley from AutoZone to switch out the idler pulley with a plastic um, grooved pulley and so you're replacing the idler pulley with a pl plastic grooved pulley and installing this three piece kit to replace these three pieces here and then this was extra I bought this pulley from a I think I just did it by size uh, of the inner bore and then searched on you know through them until I found like a smaller diameter that was spoked and that I liked so that's the other power steering pump pulley it's smaller than stock spinning it faster um, you know but then like I said earlier with this smaller pulley that probably evens it right out in your power steering pump. Um, yeah, so that's it for the pulley set. Oh, and of course we can't forget the smaller belt. 80 inches was what worked for me. And like I said, it, that has to be a perfect fit down to the half inch. You know, and it took a few tries. It took a few days actually because I had to order that belt in. Just didn't have it in stock. There are other stores that had it in stock. I just have a really small store. Oh, and the transmission on the Accord is uh, on its way. There was a mix-up in shipping, but it wasn't the right one. I told you that um, on the last video or two videos ago. Uh, so the new one's on the way, and hopefully the right one's in the box this time. But that's probably not going to be here till. Tuesday, that's another, you know, three days, four days from now, three days, what's today?
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Jesus.